Hey guys, I'm out here in my front yard garden. It's uh, late April, still chilly. We've had a, a really late spring, but it's warm enough to plant some stuff into my garden. My garden's actually filling out pretty good. I'm building a second garden basically of this size in my backyard in a little while, but there's nothing to report on that. But my plan for this garden this year is to make this garden a little bit more passive and uh, put some sort of longer term crops in here. But that's not exactly what I want to show you and talk about today. Today I want to address and show you um, a question that I get a lot and I just want to show you guys that we can do this. So the question is, can you uh, transplant paper pot transplanter chains without the paper pot transplanter? Is it worth doing if you're a gardener or a homesteader? That's the question I get a lot and I want to show you that you can in fact and I think it's actually a great way to transplant stuff uh, even if you're doing it the way I'm going to show you it's still a lot faster than hand transplanting and it sorts out your spacing automatically more or less and um, the plugs go in the ground relatively quickly as I'll show you let's get into it so all you need to do this is a flat of paper chains in this case I'm planting celery and I use a trowel or my hand to make the trench and then I close it up with my hands. It's really that simple. So I'm going to just run along sort of piece at a time. First I'm just going to make a trench. So I've, I'm not going to show you how I planted this entire bed because you, you, one row and you'll get the idea. So I'm just going to make a trench and then I'm going to start planting. So I'm just digging in and I'll kind of use, I'm using the trowel right now, but I'll kind of use both my hands and the trowel to make it, to make a nice deep trench. I'm just kind of walking along. Great thing about having raised beds in this case is that uh, I've got really clear lines to follow. So now I'm kind of getting my hand in there just to get it nice and deep. Of course, you're doing one row at a time. And also, of course, you could use a hoe or some other kind of tool to make this trench, but planting it is the same. So all we do is run our chain out. And so what I'm, what I'm actually going to do, this is what I like to do, is I just leave the flat here and I run the whole chain the length of the trench. That's pretty much it. And I kind of like having it lay down sideways a little bit like this, at least so that the uh, green side of the plugs is um, in one direction. And that's a little rule of thumb that I've always followed with my transplanting is uh, green side up and you're pretty much good. So got our plugs there. Now we just come along and close the trench. So I'm using both hands on both sides of the trench just to move the dirt over. Another thing I like to do is, you know, sometimes you get the odd paper chain that was missed in a run. So I just go and tear some extra ones off the paper pot and then just plug them in by hand so they get a perfect density. So that's it. There you have it. The one thing I like about the paper pot, even if you're hand planting them like this, is that you can stagger your plugs. So you can see how I've got a perfect 
triangular pattern between each run and it stays consistent as long as you keep your row straight. I will leave a link to my website Paperpot Co, which is a company that I co-own with Diego Futter in the show notes. Actually, in fact, I think I'll leave, I'll leave you two links to make it real easy for you. I'll leave a link to the paper chains and these are the ones that I use. These are six inch paper chains and I'll leave a link to the Paperpot flats if you wanna do this at home. All right guys, see you in the next video.